this step, we're gonna remove the cover that protects the gearbox. To remove the cover, you're gonna need a 916 wrench and remove four bolts, two on each side. Once all the bolts are removed, grab the cover firmly and push straight up. With the guard removed, move to the back of the gearbox. Move the lever to an horizontal position. Then, with both hands, grab the torque arm assembly and pull towards you. For this step, it's very important that you always look around the gearbox for alignment shims. Here we have a good sample of an alignment shim. Another thing that is important to preserve the balancing on the unit to mark the position on the gearbox. Let's take advantage that we have the alignment shim in this position and let's go ahead and make two marks on the side of the shim which is going to help us align the gearbox to its original position and align the shim back to his original position. In this step, we're going to remove all the set screws that hold the gearbox in place. There is a total of six bolts and they can be removed with an Allen wrench size quarter inch. For the next step, make sure all the set screws are being removed. Locate on the gearbox flange a threaded hole in which one of the bolts that you remove will go right in. The function of this bolt is to push, it will push the gearbox out of his socket, making it easier for the gearbox to be removed. Once the sense screw is in, make sure that you put your hand and be ready for the alignment chip to come off. Insert your tool and start driving the gearbox out. Once it starts moving, you're going to see a small crack on it. At that point, you should be able to just grab the shim so you don't lose it. With the gearbox free from the flange, grab by the level and pull it all the way out.
with the center fuse removed from the assembly, stand it up in a vertical position into the base supply with your system. At that point, we're gonna remove the liquid end cap. To remove the liquid end cap, you need to remove all 12 bolts holding it in place with a 516 hex wrench. Once all the bolts are removed, you're gonna proceed installing two pulling bolts, which is a regular 3A full threaded, in two positions of this, uh, the center fuse, 180 apart. With the two screws in place, gently start priming on the liquid end cap evenly, both sizes, so that your gap comes all the way across in the same position. Once successfully, the liquid end cap is being removed, make sure that you get at least two inches of gap on both sizes, which would be more than enough to be able to clear the bearings on the inside. At that point, just take a regular strap at the neck of the uh, liquid end, and lift. the liquid end removed, we got to proceed removing the bearing housing cover, same size range, 516, remove all four bolts, save two, which you're going to use this time to pry off the cover. Just like a liquid end, go evenly. Once the cover is removed, use the lifting provided, lifting tool provided with your kit.
the auger free, just lift.